Welcome to Tester Scale Workshop. I'm Brett Green and today we're at Lower Hutt in Wellington in New Zealand for the IPMS New Zealand Nationals and Scale Model Expo. Over the course of this weekend, Saturday and Sunday, we'll see around 2,000 people through here and a good number of models in competition for both Scale Expo and IPMS New Zealand Nationals. Here at Wellington, we've actually got two shows for the price of one. Over here, on this side, we have Scale Models Expo, and on the other side, we have IPMS New Zealand, with a, a big chunk of display uh, in the middle and on the side as well. As well as a the competition, there's plenty of vendors on hand as well, which is just as well because modelers love to buy models. We've got a big pile of Airfix, Tamiya, Ravel, Italeri, and uh, I can see David Muir over there as well, author of Southern Cross Mustangs. In addition to the competition, we have a number of very impressive display pieces, including this HMS Victory, American aircraft in RAF service, ships and aircraft of the, uh, the war in the Pacific, 1941-1945. And not just models, but also flags, uniforms and patches. In addition to the regular scale models that you would expect to see at a model show, we also have this very large scale F-15C and Spitfire. One of the displays that really caught quite a lot of attention today was a Tamiya Zero in flight. This is actually the old kit that's been rescribed and motorised uh, and a little forced perspective applied as well with a 144th scale Zero below. There's a really good selection of models on display here and some very creative stuff as well. We have um, the Lion Hunt here, as well as helicopters, aircraft, uh, tanks, figures and, uh, and more. So uh, it, it's nice to see the level of imagination that's gone into some of these displays. Certainly the most popular thing here though for the kids today has been this large scale train layout, fantastic stuff. There's actually uh, a, a video camera mounted on top of one. the train's eye view of the, the layout with giant children looming as well. But of course, New Zealand's most famous plastic export is Wingnut Wings, manufacturer of 132nd scale World War I aircraft. And they made quite a splash in the lead up to the IPMS New Zealand Nationals with the announcement of a surprise new release that hadn't been mentioned in previous press releases. And that new release has turned out to be a 132nd scale Faltz D12. In fact, you can build the early version with the square uh, tail or the late version with the rounded tail out of the same kit. Young people are the future of our hobby and here in New Zealand, Scale Models Wellington have a specific junior club. The club supplies kits, paints and glue and the kids go for it as you can see here. Over the last 10 years or so, I've been very lucky to attend a lot of model shows around the world, in Europe, uh, in America and in Australia, and I'm very pleased to be able to add New Zealand to the list now. The one real great common denominator that all these shows have are the modelers. They're gregarious, they're enthusiastic, and above all, they're friendly. It's always great to catch up with modelers, put some names to faces, make new friends. That's all I've got time for from uh, the New Zealand Model Expo 2011. From Brett Green, the Tesla Scale Workshop, bye for now.